not gonna yell. Not gonna raise my blood pressure even more than two heartbeats a second over what the Philadelphia Eagles have done, um, what the Philadelphia Eagles have just, you know, piled on top of in this city right now, given the Philadelphia Phillies kicking everyone in the nuts on Friday night. And we have 48 hours later, and the Eagles were like, guess what, we want to kick you swiftly in the gonads as well. And it sucks. I can tell you it right now. And um, this team deserves to be a laughing stock. Everyone that's not a fan of the Eagles should be laughing at the Eagles right now. Uh, the whole Dream Team talk, even though that was started by one guy who's a backup quarterback who used to play for Tennessee, but I'm not going to you know, name any names. Um, you know, He started the whole Dream Team concept here. Well, the, the idea of calling it the Dream Team anyway. Uh, but this was a team that got confidence so high in this city. <laughs> and I was one of the people that bought into it. A lot of people bought into it. All, all the major publications had the Eagles at least going to the Super Bowl, if not winning it. And as we can see, foresight don't mean shit. Putting all the talent in the world on paper don't mean shit. This team is so fundamentally flawed that you can't even think of anything at a sophisticated level of making their way through the playoffs. Like, the errors that they have on this team... Where do you want me to begin? Let's take today's game against Buffalo. We have Ryan Fitzpatrick coming to the line, and he's going to do a hard count. It's the fourth quarter. There's about a minute and 20 seconds left. Fourth and one. He's going to do a hard count to draw the Eagles offside. All the commentators say it. The coaches say it to the players. And what happens? One of the most veteran Philadelphia Eagle linemen an 11-year pro jumps offside on a goddamn hard count at 4th and 1 with a minute and 20 left. That is an error that you would see in a Pop Warner football game. I would love for someone to show me any team that's even made the Super Bowl that even in the regular season jumped on a hard count in the fourth quarter with under two minutes to play when your team has a chance to get the winning drive and, in essence, take the game. <clears throat> now, I'm kind of at the point where I have zero confidence in this team. That's kind of why I'm making this video officially because, I mean, I could have told you all the other times the Eagles shut the bed this season because there's been more than one time. I've officially gotten to the rock-bottom state of 0% chance of this team even making the Super Bowl. I had at least a 1% chance going into today's game. It's now down to a zero. Uh, the Eagles could win every single game the remainder of the year. They could win every game in shutout fashion 60 to nothing. I will still tell you on week 17, the Eagles will not win the Super Bowl. There's flawed coaching. Players don't execute. Fourth quarter collapses. There's pretty much just three playmakers on this team, Deshaun Jackson, Michael Vick, and Shady McCoy. Um, those are really the only three players that have showed up all year. Babin showed up on defense, to be fair. I think he still leads the league in sacks. But in the overall grand scheme of things, even people like Vick that have showed up, he put, you know, four balls into blue jerseys today. In case you weren't paying attention, Buffalo was wearing the blue jerseys today. And... What can you say? I just kind of want to make this video just to kind of, you know, give the, the state of the Philadelphia fan right now because this is quite possibly <laughs> the most miserable time in Philadelphia to be a sports fan. And Philadelphia fans get a bad reputation. And eh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will be laughing at me and other people in Philadelphia and laughing at this team, the Philadelphia Eagles, and this team does deserve to get laughed at absolutely deserve to get laughed at. For the effort they give, they should get laughed out of every visiting venue they go to. They deserve it. And I'm not here to tell you that I'm going to run out and, you know, buy a Tony Romo jersey and hop on the Dallas Cowboys bandwagon because I have to first cut off my dick in order to do that. But 
I'm gonna stick by and watch this shit and just kind of when the game ended today I, I asked myself why do I put myself through this year in and year out? I've been kicked in the nuts so many times. It's kind of like the abused wife syndrome. Like, you know, the husband hits me, but he still loves me. It's like this team kicks me, but it still loves me. They still want to win for the city. Well, I have one battered, beaten wife over here, per se. And I just, I, I think that speaks to the volumes of what a true fan really is. I have no problem wearing an Eagle shirt in this video. Having an Eagle sign bes behind me, even though you can't see it because it's off camera. Those things will always be there. I have no problem supporting this team. Even if they lose every single game, I will tell you I'm an Eagles fan. And I just look at this as a test of character and integrity in your fandom. Take the good with the bad, but this is a bad, and for the first time, I can understand people just flat out giving up. I can understand it. I won't give up, but I can understand if people do. In the past, I've seen some heartbreaking losses, and I've heard people say, oh man, I'm just, I don't know if I can root for this team anymore. I'd be like, you're a chicken shit coward. Take your jersey off and burn it in the driveway if you have to. We don't want you as a fan. But now it's to the point where, if people want to jump ship, ha, I can totally understand. And I've never, ever, ever been in that mindset here in Philadelphia. Ever. Well, I don't know, Philly. Are we just glutton for punishment? Should we get excited that the Flyers are starting off hot? Are they going to kick us in the nuts too in the NHL playoffs? <laughs> That's the mindset we have here in Philadelphia. We kind of just realistically want the best, but we're always expecting the worst. And the worst ways are becoming just more and more creative ways to lose. Like today's loss, jumping offside on a hard count by a veteran player? Wow. That one, I'll admit, I sat there and I just stared at the screen with the Jenna Marbles face and I just went... Like, I, I just, my face stuck like that for like an hour. Oh well. It sucks being a Philadelphia fan, but at the same time, I love being a Philadelphia fan and ain't anything ever going to change that. all the pride I can whip up here today guys I'm sorry but it's been a rough goddamn weekend here thank you Phillies and thank you Eagles for just kicking me square in the nuts holy shit have a great day everyone